distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to this luncheon hosted by the Faculty of Business of the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. For more than a decade, the rise of China, in particular the rapid development of the Chinese economy, has been a hot topic of research and discourse. In recent years, state-owned enterprises, especially SOE reform, has been one of the focuses of the considerable interest. Good afternoon, distinguished guests. Uh, my name is Hai Tian Lu. I'm a lawyer by training. Uh, my research interest centers on the intersect of law, finance, and corporate governance. Suppose this firm has only two projects. Project A with high investment opportunity, Project B with low investment opportunities. As a headquarter, should you allocate more capital to projects with high investment opportunities relative to low opportunities? How does that reconcile with the first slide that you showed? What would you characterize a case like that? And does that actually shock some of the SOE chairpersons or SOE CEOs? Also do the misallocation, so-called, like the um, state-owned. Uh, so. I, I have to confess that I've been a bit outdated, but then in your study, I guess, uh, of these recent uh, uh, SOE groups. Have there been or do you expect there to be changes in policy going forward which would affect? It's like there are the productive part, there are the non-productive part. And then these non-productive part needs to be divested. 